Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. My phone is really messed up. If any of you record on your phones, you know bad things eventually happen. And it's only a matter of time with this phone. Uh, well, it's, I'm just trying to tolerate it as long as I can. But it wants me to buy a new phone. It's, it's ready for the glue factory. Oh, no. I hope everyone is doing okay. Oh, my God. Okay, why worry about food storage? Now, why think about it? It's always been okay. It's always going to be okay. Why worry about it? It's stupid. Okay, have you? do you guys remember the boy who called Wolf? He kept calling Wolf and calling Wolf. And one day, of course, there was a wolf. So I want to make some uh, instant mashed potatoes. Okay, so I'm eating cheap the rest of the month. And then next month, I'm going to continue on. We'll worry about that. Okay, um, food storage is the number one insurance against going hungry or starving. Okay, let's think about no water, like on the Gaza Strip, or contaminated water, or can't get out to get some. So yesterday, the whole city here was flooding. And so I decided to go down to Ralph's because, of course, I didn't have water. And, and Ralph's was flooded. I go, yeah, this is what happens. An emergency comes. You need water. There's absolutely no reason. Okay, I'm drinking uh, chamomile tea. All right, I, I haven't had any Diet Coke for like four days. And uh, it's going okay. I've been drinking any kind of heavy duty tea. So I have milk, I have water, and I have butter. And so I will put a little chives. And then I will just add, you know, I have all these potatoes. And uh, wow, things used to be primitive a long time ago when I first started YouTube. Oh my goodness. All right, and so I bought all these instant potatoes. Okay, so thinking about contaminated water or can't get some like yesterday. Ah. I'm looking for somewhere when I can buy a big uh, quantity of um, tea or uh, reasonable. Okay, think about a famine. Could a fa famine happen? Well, has a famine ever happened before in history? Well, we have the Depression. I don't know if that's considered a famine. Um, people in the world have starved, and unfortunately, I'm pretty sure people are going to starve by the time this is over. They're predicting a huge amount of people might starve. Uh, no matter how poor you are, if you have a pound of rice, save a quarter cup. A quarter cup will save your life. Okay, it ended up to be two-thirds, just like the direction. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, think about a famine. What goes with famine? Something bad, disease. Okay, we had the we had the COVID, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about filthy conditions, malnutrition, exposure to the cold, rats, fleas, and spiders. You know, I never really thought about spiders. I was going to the Adventist church. And uh, there was remedies um, for spider bites that we should all know. And I used to know. I posted them. I forgot them. Wars. Could we ever see a war? Yes. Earthquakes. Okay. The psychic predu predicted five. They would start at the Tijuana border and move up to uh, L.A. 
demonic activity in which we would see violence and killing, false prophets. Okay, it's bad enough that it's bad enough that this false prophets might okay, this will do. Might give us some kind of like false doctrine, but their stories and it's recent times too that uh, this is in Africa is the Adventists. And they said either tell all the people to go to the church or we're going to kill your family. So the minister told all the people to go to the church and all the people were killed. I don't know, his family is probably killed too. But anyway, okay, this is some lemon chicken. Chicken can taste really good after, after you've been cheap for a while. Okay, so I'm, okay, I bought this chicken, legs and thighs. I got about 15 for about $5. No, $7.20, I think it was. So this is going to be enough for two meals. And then I, I had a can of beets. So I put them in a jar. So I will have a little vegetables. So I won't be starving. And then I have some pickles that I made. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the pickles. Uh, I forgot when I was doing the pickles, I um, forgot to tell you some stuff. Okay, this time I used Homestead Tessie's brine. I have bell peppers. I have... Um, I have onions and I have cucumbers. So, okay, so I have some vegetables. Now, if you have a lunch, you can have this as well. I can't see anything. Okay, now, I want to talk to you about the pickles. All right, um, get your pickles and wash your pickles good. Put your pickles in a bowl of water and sprinkle with salt and let set for a few minutes. Uh, wash good in water. Peel most of the skin off to remove wax and insecticide. Put thinly sliced cucumbers and onions, and I put bell peppers, and sprinkle with salt and garlic powder, and I put pepper. Then here is my brine recipe. Heat two cups vinegar two cups water, one tablespoon pickling spice, and a <coughs> half a, a half a cup of sugar to boiling. Then uh, just pour it over the, the, the cucumbers. So while you're making the brine, your cucumbers are sitting in the, the, the salt. And then just pour the brine in the bowl and let them cool and then put them in the jar. Okay, so let me give you a shot of this. So you're not going to be, I don't know if you guys can see this. I, I, I'll do my best. I'm, I'm, I can't see anything. Hopefully. Okay, now Homestead Tessie, for her brine, I did it the same way. It's two cups sugar, two cups vinegar two teaspoons salt, and four cups water. And this was for beets, but I just used it in my pickling. This takes a lot more sugar. I use the whole amount of sugar. Okay, and then you can water bath can them. Just wipe your rims with vinegar, screw on your tops, and put them in, in your big pan and, and heat them to boiling and then time it for 10 minutes. And then you'll have some good pickles and you won't waste your uh, vegetables. That's any vegetable. So anyway, so the false prophets could also, um, also, you know, be co really corrupt. I think we see a lot of, of really bad stuff. To have enough food, you want to stockpile food like in the day. To have enough food until you can grow more. Okay, I'll give you an example. Uh, last year I had crop failure basically because I had gophers, I had squirrels, I had everything back there. I'm just glad they didn't attract any of the coyotes or bobcats. 
anyway, and then, you know, this heavy rain came, and go to my Twitter if you would like to see the heavy rain, because you may think I was overreacting. Okay, so it beat my little plants down. I went out there today, and, and some of them revived, so that was a blessing. Okay, now, what about supply chain disruptions? Like where? Like the Suez Canal, which is where the people go from Asia to the U.S. Panama Canal, which they're suffering a drought, so the canal is low, uh, Asia and Europe. So, so when we have these disruptions, uh, what's going to happen is the price is going to go up. They have to go further. Okay, now, today I wanted to use my potato. Um, here's my, I hope you guys can see this, my potato bread, but I wanted to put uh, raisins in this. So I had this customer, and once you make these a few times, you're going to get really good at making them. And you can put some jam and some butter on these, or you can just eat them plain. But I used to have this customer, look, and this is cheap, but you want to have stuff in the house to make bread, no matter what. And so she used to make raisin bread, and she used to make it in a coffee can, and I thought at the time that it was, uh, was uh, soda bread. But after finding this recipe, my nose is running now, I'm pretty sure it was yeast bread. So all I did was I made my white bread. So just add, I'm gonna give you the whole thing, but I made a half a batch, because it's so easy. I wanted to tell you something about this too. Okay, um, one and one quarter cup water two tablespoons sugar, and a package of yeast. And I remember I stockpiled, uh-oh. I don't know what I did with my yeast, but just the little packages of yeast. So it's a one and one quarter cup of water, and I heat it in the microwave. I'm trying to eliminate as much cooking as I can. And then um, I put two tablespoons sugar and a package of yeast. I made sure the water was the temperature of a warm bath and I let the water, I let the water, you know, activate the yeast. Then I mixed um, salt, three quarter teaspoon salt, and then three and one quarter cups flour. But I didn't um, add the whole amount because I added one, um, quarter cup potatoes and one quarter cup powdered milk. And then I added about a half a cup of raisins. So I added all the dry ingredients and I stirred those around good. And then I, I like this recipe because it's cheap and it tastes really good. You don't have to add the potatoes and the powdered milk, but what I'm trying to do is I am trying to make all my own food and fortify that nutritionally. This is funny. I was telling the girls at the gym, yes, this was made by indigenous people, natives. And look, it's it's beans. Well, beans and plastic bread, plastic beans. Okay, so here's the powder milk I like. But if you don't have that, you don't have to use that. But it tastes good, and raisins are really good, too. So, um, mix all the dry ingredients, make a will, and then mix all the wet ingredients and stir it around. So, you have your powdered milk, a quarter cup, your um, potatoes, a quarter cup, and add one cup um, flour, and then add your wet ingredients and just add flour little by little till you get a soft dough. Then knead it good, and you can put it in a, a bread pan, or you can make rolls, and I just raise it one time. All right, let me give you the recipe. I hope this shows up on here. If not, I'll probably be hammering. You know, the time is going to come, and it's like, uh, you know, the prophet trying to warn the people. So, okay, now I want to use up. 
so these are oatmeal cookies. Here they are. I made these myself today. They're good. And uh, I have a good old fashioned, it took me a long time to find this recipe. One cup flour, one half teaspoon cinnamon, one half teaspoon baking soda, one quarter teaspoon salt. So it's cheap. Um, one and one quarter, one half cup oatmeal, one half cup butter, one half cup uh, brown sugar, and one half cup sugar one egg, one teaspoon vanilla, and one cup raisins. So I only used a half a cup and I added, and I made a special point to get these today, sunflower seeds, walnuts, and chocolate chips. So I, I basically added everything but the kitchen sink and so I have some really good oatmeal cookies there. Let me give you the recipe. So, um, once you store your provisions, you're going to be able to get by. So I want to give you the Navajo fry bread. Uh, one cup flour, one and one half teaspoons baking powder, and one quarter teaspoon um, salt. And then I added a quarter cup uh, powdered milk. And then I had one cup uh, hot water. So just like the bread, I stirred that around. I added the wet ingredients, which was water, and then I fry it in oil. But this stuff's kind of expensive because uh, you have to use the oil. Okay, so that is all the stuff I made because um, I want to get some of my good recipes out there. I want to give you guys a cornbread recipe. This is Julia Child's, one to two eggs, one cup milk, one teaspoon salt, two cups soybean, one cup flour, one cup cornmeal, uh, three to four tablespoons melted butter, two to four tablespoons sugar, some people like it uh, sweet, and one tablespoon baking powder. I mean, what if we don't have any uh, Jiffy mix? Today I went to 99 cent store, and all the baking goods were gone. So what does that mean? It means most likely when it comes back, it's going to be more expensive. That's what it means. Okay, no. Okay, so number one thing is bread. So we just went over bread. Number two thing, rice. And you can make rice milk. Number three thing, potatoes. Potato bread or potato soup. Number four thing, beans. Now, if you don't have much money, just buy one pound and then get into the habit of saving out one quarter cup for like saving for later. Five nuts. So today I bought uh, two bags of sunflower seeds. I think I have about enough nuts right now. Uh, number six, bacon. So you can have bacon in your beans and you can have bacon fat. Uh, oatmeal, milk, sugar or honey. 10, vinegar, so you can make pickles, salt and pepper, baking soda or baking powder, and raisins, and then seeds. When they come out with the 25 cent seeds again, I'm going to buy everything. Cornmeal, and then just start packing your house full of cans. Start out with tomatoes, tuna, jam, uh, fruit, so you can make jam and vegetables. So I hope you guys can see this. I can't. see all right so uh how many times in recent history have we we heard them go um brace yourselves this is the big one uh you guys are in for it now and one of these times like the boy who called wolf i i stockpiled two more potato chips because i like to eat sandwiches and i have my pickle food okay think about these meats one pound hamburger, one pound turkey burger, one package bacon, one package chicken, one large bag of cheese, milk, nuts, cream cheese, one package sour cream, one package, two pounds butter, and one gallon vegetable oil. So you'd be well on your way if you're new to stockpiling or if you just want to stockpile for some kind of an emergency because I don't want my 
followers sitting in the house wringing their hands. Sometimes you know that you go to the the uh, food bank and they're not giving you what you really need. What you probably are really going to need is the food that I uh, showed you on the um, on the list. So. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all. Bye. Parting is such sweet sorrow.